Okay. Today, this will be doing the FF14 Moonfire Fair event for 2020. Uh, this one's a little bit different, and then this one, instead of pre recorded, we are doing it in stream. So, the first part of this video will be the Moonfire Fair event. And then the latter part of the video will be just doing some roulettes. Okay. Just one second. should be good to go. Ah, my prayers have been answered. As the sun beat down on my brow, my flagging spirits were kept aloft by the hope of your return. Now that you're here, I can say that Moonfire Fair success is assured. Our festival has long and storied history, the hardy best repeating, but for all intents and purposes, it's become a premier event of our guild. We hope to stoke the fires of adventurous hearts, young, old, and all ages in between. This season's main event has become a favourite among adventurers and revellers alike, the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course. Keeping vigil over the proceedings is the Sunshine Saviour, Guardian of the Sandy Reaches. Who is the Sunshine Saviour, you ask? If your interest has been piqued, I encourage you to make haste to Costa to Sop, where Herr Maga stands at the ready to appraise eager volunteers the details. isn't down. As sure a guest to Moonfire Fair is this stifling heat. De Mayo Mo Moyaru's mention of the Sunshine Saviour stir the heroic spirit of yours. I should hope so, because between you and me we're in a bit of a bind. If you wouldn't mind lending an ear to our troubles, I'd appreciate the opinion of a fellow adventurer. Much obliged. You see, the fair's been no stranger to difficulties. Make no mistake, people swimming where they shouldn't be, monsters treating the beaches like a bloody banquet, and all manner of other perils have put the damper on what was meant to be a time for celebration. To combat this, I came up with the idea of the Sunshine Saviour, a brave soul whose duty will be to nip such problems in the bud before they become everyone's headache. Not only would they keep our patrons safe, but the deed would raise the esteem of the guild as well. Not only that, it would be the perfect opportunity to give our fresh blood a chance to shine. So I went looking for a stout arm from within our ranks, and after the process of stringent, vet stringent vetting, settled on an eager youth by the name of Lionel. The lad seemed perfect fit, but his spirits had taken a sharp dive since he arrived at Costa's soul. So if it's the cause for his troubles, it's plain he needs a guiding hand or two to see him through them. So if with the time and inclination, I'd like you to help set him on the right path. Since he's found his footing, I won't ask you to do it on him any longer. How about it? You're a lifesaver. Now then, follow me. I'll make introductions. Lionel should be somewhere near the right. Let's go find me.
Apologies. The lad seems to be missing. I explicitly told him to wait here. Get your bloody hands off my goods. So, so, sorry. Terribly sorry. I only thought to help. The crates looked awfully heavy, you see. But, uh, but you're right to, to be rough at me. Yes. Why, why would you need my aid with my arms thinner than a sp sproutling seed? I, I see the error of my ways. I'll, I'll shovel buffalo dung as punishment. Yeah. Hey, lad. Sorry for stopping at you. Appreciate the thought, but the contents of these crates are my livelihood. Can't trust just any passerby with their safe carriage. You understand. And truth be told, you came at me like a chocobo taking its first steps. You need to strut with a bit of confidence if you don't want people looking at you crosswise, see? You're a good art lad. Anyone could see that. Work on your manner and I reckon your next attempt at charity will go just fine. I could have a guess what happened here, but I'd like to hear your side of the story nonetheless. Mind filling me in, Lionel. Oh, uh, Master Omega, and uh, who is this? It, it can't be. Is this man my replacement? Heavens for I've been dismissed from my duty. Before my duty has even begun. There's no need for all that. Darren's here, a member of the Guild. He's here to help. First, we need to know what's going on. I, I, you see, I was awaiting orders like you asked, but then I spied that man struggling to carry his goods. I thought to offer a helping hand, but well, you saw how the rest went. I see. Can't fault you for trying to do good. What he said was right. Your manner is bloody strange. It has been ever since you set foot in the sands. I don't recall you being so timid when we first met. If something's weighing on you, you didn't shy away from sharing the burden. You, you, you're too kind. The, the truth is, I, I can't bear to have my face seen by others. All, all those eyes on me, it, it, it's dreadful. Under a helmet, I'd have confidence for Captain, but this heat has left me with no choice but to bear my naked face for all, to all and sundry. I'm afraid I'm likely to do more harm than help if I can't get my nerves under control. But the festivities are due to start soon and I can scarcely stand to look even you in the eye. So that's the way of it. I appreciate your candor, lad. If it's as simple as covering your face, we can get you sorted straight away. Come with me to the storehouse. I have something there that I think you'll like. As for you, you better wait at the beach for our return. Don't worry. We'll be back before you can break us, what? Here we are. Feast your eyes upon Costa de Sol's sunshine saviour. Blinded by its brilliance, aren't you? I had this lovely piece made for the moment I conceived of the sunshine saviour. Special commission from the Weaver's Guild. But genius isn't always obvious, I discovered. My colleagues claim the colouring too bold, design too daring. I believe the words gaudy was tossed about. And so of a heavy heart I set it aside until today, that is. By the gods, I feel a whole form taller. 
The fabric's so tight, it's like I'm wearing naught but my name day suit. I'm ready to take on the world and then some. Masks are usually for hiding as one's true nature. This is the line I remember. You ask me, he looks a spitting image of, the hero, of a hero. What do you think? That certainly suits him. I'm overjoyed that you think so. Mark my words. The sands of Costa Sol shall remain safe under the watchful eyes of the Sunshine Saviour. Now then, I not consider your official appointment to the Sunshine Saviour. Go forth and remember that you carry the reputation of the Adventurous Guild on your shoulders. Don't crumble under the weight, lad. Become a saviour worthy of your namesake. Our guests will soon forget the countless monsters and maladies that lurk beneath the tides. I know you won't disappoint. Thank you, Master Haranaga. I know a good honest chance of making good run of it now, but that depends on him. Sunshine Saviour, I must bear all responsibilities that the title implies. I could do this. I could become an adventurer that others speak of in all. By the way, I'd like to apologise for my embarrassing conduct before. I admit part of me is scared almost all the time. I can't let that dictate my life and my duty. Whatever happens, I swear to you that all in my power to make this Moonfire Fair the safest yet. That being said, I realise I still have much to learn, and very much appreciate the aid of a seasoned adventurer, such as yourself. Will you help me? Thank you. I look forward to growing under your wing. Lionel looks every bit the ill mother hero, and no mistake, but looks aren't worth a damn if his heart isn't in it. How are you feeling under the mask, lad? Up the work ahead? About that. As much as I like to jump right into the thick of things, I can't help but harbour some small doubts. The incident with the merchant earlier made me realise that there's one matter... There's one matter to want to aid those in need, but another matter entirely to know who needs it. Fortunately, I've Darren at my side. Seasoned adventurer who helped his fair share of troubled souls. Asked him to take me under his wing for a bit. Hope to be a quick study. That's a capital idea, lad. Every adventurer has a few stories being rewarded with scorn instead of coin. Strange as it sounds, a helping hand must be deft besides. Well then, let's revise your tasks, eh? Give you a chance to sharpen that nose of yours to the scent of unrest. Why don't you stand watch over by the revellers gathered at the northeastern shores? If you spot trouble brewing, put a lid on it before it spills over. Darren will attend you in the supervisory capacity. Before leaping into action, ask him advice on how to conduct yourself. He'll guide you well, I've no doubt. Now then, offer you. The battlefield of beach awaits. Make me proud, you two. Make me proud. Guild member by the name of Beautiful standing by. Someone to relieve him of his duty. Speak of him first. Show the realm the measure of the Sunshine Saviour. This is it. Time to prove myself worthy. Why? If it isn't the Sunshine Saviour, protector of the Summer Sands. Please, please, I release the beaches across the soul to your stewardship. Ah, yes, before I go, allow me to furnish you with these link bells. Crucial tool for a pair of strapping guardians such as yourselves. Godspeed, saviours.
And now our watch begins. Go on, tell me what you see. Is there trouble lurking about the sunshine saviour shall rise the action? failed again. I'll never master the course at this rate. Come on, rule, fool. I believe in you. But nothing I say seems to help. I wish I knew how to cheer you up. The lad looks absolutely crestfallen. From what I can gather is having some difficulties with the Eorzean nimble warriors. I know what it's like to feel success slip from one's grasp time and again. Give him some words of encouragement. You read my mind. Encouragement is my forte. If you carefully place words, should lift this lad over the obstacle in his path. Wait there. I'll be back in a flash. They were thankful enough, and the lad seemed once again eager to tackle the course. All in all, a success for the Sunshine Saviour. Bloody caravan. This is too good for a pirate, does he? I'll make him see that. I just ask him all nice like. Fancy a stroll on the beach, caravan, or some such. Bah, you'll just think I'm itching for a duel. She's mumbling to herself an awful lot. The menacing provocations of a pirate, no doubt. What do you think? You certain? This is the scent of danger. Perhaps something foul has washed ashore. Uh, no matter. I'll trust your advice. It's what you're here for, after all. Hmm. I'm beginning to understand. She wished to say something, but it's caught in her throat like a bone. Ash has given up. Judging from her manner, she may have had the same reservations as I can, concerning showing her face to others. Kindred spirit in need of air. Alas, I have but a single mask, so I couldn't have helped even if I wanted. You knew all of that, didn't you? Remarkable force, my friend. Truly remarkable. Well, I see nothing amiss in the area. What about over there? Now our watch begins. Go on. Tell me what you see. There's trouble lurking about. The Sunshine Saviour will rise to the action. Go so deal with the muscular fellows.
Are you right, sirs? My muscles burn for more, but God, I can barely see straight. Oh, no, that's not good. Shall I call upon one of the chaperones? I suppose the heat and intense exercise mix as well as oil does with water. Should I offer assistance? Tell them to drink plenty of fluids. You're quite right. Even the strongest of us will wither before the sun without water and rest. I'll go tell them as much. I had a word with the men. They insisted there was nothing to worry about. Still, my duty is to dig out the root trouble before they break soil. So, in that respect, I consider this a success. Go on, jump. Jump like your lives depend on it. We'll never make it from there. Watch out or you'll eat sand. Oh no, is he alright? I think I heard a snap. I'm coming. Apologies for not waiting for your guidance. I dived into the ocean without a thought for what would come next. Before I knew it, there was water under my mask. Sure, I'd meet my end. Then and there, but somehow I found my bearings. Brought that man ashore. Suppose fortune favours the reckless, eh? Speaking of which, I see no further signs of distress along the beach. I believe our relief should be along soon. Truth be told, I'm glad for it. I can't bear this stifling heat for much longer. Still, better to be baking under the hot sun than drowning under the ocean waves. Every breath I took invited more water into my lungs. One of the seven hells lies on the ocean floor. Doubtless its doors were cast open for my arrival. But I'm grateful to be alive. And well, with a few extra feet of daring do under my belt besides. That's in no small part thanks to you. Your same guidance led me to take action where I might have been paralysed by doubt. I have Hermega's costume to thank too. I may very well have some special power to turn the timid into the lion-hearted. Impressive work, you two. I say you've earned some rest, eh? Allow me to watch over your patrons. I only hope my stretch is half as eventful as yours was. Most appreciated, Master Blue Devon. I suspect Master Hermega will want to hear of our success here. Let's go make our report. There you are. The stories of your deeds pre precede you. Revelers up and down the beach are talking, are taken with your bravery. The one you plucked from the sea even came to offer his personal thanks. By all accounts, your lost confidence has been restored, and more besides. 
I reckon you're ready to set off on your own, but I won't force it upon you if you've got lingering reservations. I, uh, well, truth be told, I wouldn't have been able to do it without Darren's help. This mask, of course. Donning it makes me forget the meaning of the word impossible. Hmm. You have to realise that Darren won't be around forever. So inclined to adventuring abroad as he is. Saviour needs to be able to carry out their burdens alone, if they're to earn the trust of us. You know, you never did tell us why you were so frightened of show showing your face. So it tells me you didn't crawl out your mother's womb with your hands covering your eyes. Am I right? Ah, yeah. It happened when I was just getting my feet wet as an adventurer, during a job that should have been unremarkable. We were tasked with guarding a merchant's caravan, which naturally drew the attention of a terrible slavering beast. Instead of sticking it with a spear like I was supposed to, it was not senseless within moments. When I regained my senses, I saw my partner had been dealt a grievous wound. The caravan was in shambles. The job was not a failure. For a blessing, none lost their lives, but I lost all standing in the eyes of my allies and employers. They blame me for their injuries and the damage to their goods. Rightfully so. The memory of their scornful gazes is etched into my mind. I see them every time I look another in the eyes. So you coped with your fear by hiding behind a helm. It's starting to make sense. You know, Lionel, that suits more than a masterwork of comfort. There's a meaning behind its design, if you can believe it. See, it meant to evoke the image of the phoenix. That legendary bird symbolizes rebirth, rising from the ashes over and over again, each time shining brighter than before. Seeing your triumph as the sunshine, sh sunshine saviour, this may be certain the phoenix's fire burns within you. And when those flames are stoked, you will be reborn with more courage than you could have ever imagined. All this time I was wrapped up in the phoenix's embrace. Yes, if there's a chance I might be born anew, then the path ahead of me is clear. I'm heading back to the beach, this time without a mask. Something on your mind? To lay on a bit too thick? When you get to my age, you can't help but light fires under those that need it. That lad needed something fierce. So I lit a raging bonfire onto his eyes. Just had to work the embers that were already there. Burning desire of his to help down from. Hey, God, somebody help. What's wrong with me? Not so fast. Someone jumps into his rescue again. That fire will just... I just lit will be snuffed out. Let's think of a way to help him that doesn't involve doing all the heavy lifting.
He's right. You are our sunshine saviour. So save us. Give the beast what for? They really have faith in me. I can't let them down. I must uphold the reputation of the Sunshine Saviour. Bathe in the flames of my rebirth. Ooh. came as fast as I could, but it seems that I was not needed. Lionel really made stew out of that shark, didn't he? Seems her beggar was right about him. Lionel looks unarmed. Small miracle, all things considered. Are you hurt, Chloe? That was so scary I thought it would eat me. Thank the heavens he was here. Don't know what I'd do if Chloe came to any harm. Uh, are you okay? That was so frightening, but so exciting at the same time. Gonna write about you in my diary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chloe's safe and it's all because of you. But I was only... Never mind that. You're most welcome, of course. I'm not sure what to call what just happened, but the word miracle comes to mind. I truly just vanquished that bloodthirsty brute of a shark. You did. Without a single scratch on our guests. You show them what the Sunshine Saviour stands for. Gave them display they won't soon forget. All on your own, too. But even a saviour isn't invincible. Go with beautiful and get yourself checked. Wouldn't want you to be done in by a few scrapes. Darren. I will keep eye on things here in case any other seaborne predators decide to try their luck. Ah, you've returned. Thanks to you too, talk of the Adventurous Guild is on the lips of all in cost of As far as I'm concerned, we can consider the Sunshine Saviour, rousing success and a boon for the Guild. Why not? It deserves a standing ovation for the bravery displayed. Taking down a fiend like that and keeping the younglings safe is a feat very few can boast of. As my vision dimmed, I heard you call out to me. It was your words that deliver me from the brink and allow me to go further still. They might call me the Sunshine Saviour, but you're the true hero of the day. You've given me the courage to go on alone. For that, there's no way I can repay. Indeed, our Saviour has a Saviour of his own. A fact we're all grateful for. I'm of a mind to make you an honourable Sunshine Saviour. Suit and all. Wear it well, and don't ask me how many more of these I have stashed away. Now go on. Get your worries and take in the full of the festivities. The Moonfire Fair is safe for so long as Lionel stands as guardian. I, I'll remain vigilant for any signs of trouble, and if aught appears to threaten the peace, I'll be there to stop it.
And so with that, that is the Moonfire Fair 2023. Um, for those who have come just to watch the... Uh, those who have come purely to see the event, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for joining. And we will see you all next time. For everyone else, however, we're going to have a quick look around the island to see the NPCs, and then we're going to do some things. All's clear on these festive shores. Of course, if you'd found for this peaceful reprieve, now stewardship of Moonfire Fair falls to me. I'll stand vigilant day and night, promise to make you proud. Let's see what uh, adventurers are going to go today. These two are sitting up opposite end of the ship. No one else saw that. Oh, no one else. I'm so full of desserts and so cold. is it for this event. So, let us now... Is this the Fisher's Guild? I had tell there's a fish around him. That's nice. Right. Let us be about some. So.